Today we will be showing you how to replace an operator panel in an HP MSL 4048 and 8096 tape library. Downtime will be required for this replacement and should be scheduled with the system administrator prior to powering down the library. Also, we will be using the emergency release for the magazines once the library is powered off. This process is usually much easier with a second person, so we recommend having someone available to assist you with the first part of this replacement. If you need to order a replacement operator panel from the Rocket Platform website, please use part number 440332-001. There are a few reasons that may cause you to need a replacement operator panel for your 4048 or 8096 tape library. The operator panel may be completely dead or blank, or one or more buttons may not be working properly. Also, there may be glitches in the actual LCD that cause it to become unreadable. If any of these events is occurring, you will need to replace the operator panel. Once you have the replacement operator panel in hand, you will first need to power the library off. To do this, push the power button and you will see a message that the library is powering itself down. Wait for the power down to complete. Now you can move to the rear of the library while the second person stays at the front. Once in the rear of the library, you will first need to unplug the power cables from all power supplies so as not to risk any electrical short happening while replacing the operator panel. Then you will need to locate the emergency releases for the magazines on both sides. These will be small holes at the bottom left and right corners of the bottom tape drive in the library. For the next part, we recommend a small paper clip that is unbent to get in the hole. Push the paper clip in straight and you will feel some resistance as it engages the release lever for the magazines. Keep pushing in until the paper clip stops and will not go any further. While still holding the paper clip all the way in, have the person at the front of the machine pull the magazines out for that side straight back and out of the machine. Once the magazines are all pulled out, you can release the paper clip. Repeat this process for the other side as well. Once all magazines are out of the library and put to the side, you can move back around to the front of the library. You will be able to finish the rest of the replacement on your own. Now you will need to remove the front center fascia from the library. This will require a medium-sized Phillips head screwdriver. On the 4048, there are four screws that hold the front panel on, two on each side. On the 8096, there are six screws, three on each side. Once all of the screws are removed, you will be able to pull the front panel fascia off. You will now see the front operator panel and its connections. The first thing you will need to do is pull the ribbon cable out of the connector of the operator panel. Then you will need to remove all of the screws that hold the operator panel in place. Once these are all removed, the operator panel will be unfastened from the library chassis and can be set to the side. Now it is time to install the replacement. First, fasten the replacement operator panel to the library chassis using the same screws that held the faulty one in place. Then, carefully insert the ribbon cable into the operator panel and ensure it is fully seated. Now replace the front fascia and fasten all screws that held it in place. Last, insert all magazines into the library in the same order you removed them, making sure that the left side magazine that contains the I.O. station is in the bottom left position. Plug in the power cables to the library and then go around the front of the library and hit the power button once to power the library on and allow it to initialize fully. This may take anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes depending on which library it is. Once the library displays the library status as ready on the operator panel, the initialization is now complete. Please take time to test all buttons on the op panel for functionality and ensure that you can see everything on the panel properly. If there is still an issue with the operator panel once the replacement is complete, please open a ticket through the Rocket Plus customer portal. Thanks for watching. This has been another video by the Top 10 USA video production team. We look forward to sharing more content with you going forward, so please check out our YouTube channel and please subscribe so that you get notified whenever we release a new piece of content.